previously on Holly. What is your name? Holly Martin. Oh, the people at my church warned me about you when they found out I was changing to the school. What exactly did they tell you? That you're a tranny. There's a new Alex named Ashton who just moved here. Oh God, I'm sorry. Well, we have a plan to put her in her place and we need your help. Okay, what is it? She's challenged us to do a cook-off at the barbecue competition next week. After much deliberation, the judges have come to a decision. The winners of the third annual Enrico Ferme High Barbecue Cook-Off Competition are Holly Martin and Weston Coleman. Damn it, what the hell? We should have won this. You're Johan, right? Weston's boyfriend? You go to the other high school. Oh yeah, and you're Matt, right? Yeah. It's good to see you again. Well, that's good. Yeah, good. Good. Enough small talk. Johan takes Ashton in his arms and kisses her. Johan? I know. Scene 1. Interior. Holden's classroom. Day. The bell rings and students begin to get up from their desks. Remember there will be a test on this Tuesday. Other than that, you have no homework this weekend. Wait, what? No homework. But you always give homework. Not always. You give like three homework assignments every weekend. Well then enjoy the break that this weekend gives you from homework. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Scene two, interior, Martin House, night. Matt and Holly are sitting on the couch watching TV. So guess what? What? I have absolutely no homework this weekend. That's surprising. Not even Mr. Holden gave you homework? Nope. Wow, that's good then. Yeah. It'll give me a perfect opportunity to cash in on some spa tickets we bought. What now? The money we got from the barbecue cook-off and some money we already had saved up went to us buying a couple spa retreat thing. We were planning on using the coupons for when we weren't busy. Oh, are you and Weston a couple and I just not know about it? No, of course not. It is for couples, not a couple. Oh no. What? I see where this is going. No. She thought it would make for a fun double date weekend thing. No. Matt. No. Matt! Oi, with the poodles already. Fine, I'll go. It should be romantic and relaxing. Besides, guys go to spas too, you know. Name one. Um... Uh-huh, see? Relax. It'll be fun. I'll talk to Weston in the spa and we'll check in first thing in the morning. Calgon, take me away. Face is a map of the world, is a map of the world. You can see she's a beautiful girl, she's a beautiful girl. And everything around her is a silver pool of light. People who's around her feel the benefit of it, it makes you count. She holds you captivated in a pound. Suddenly I see, this is what I want to be. Suddenly I see, I see. Scene 3, Interior, Spa Lobby, Day. Holly and Weston walk in, very excitedly. Matt and Johan drag behind them. The group approaches the front desk. Hello, and welcome to the Angel Resort Spa. How may I help you today? We're here to check in. Great. Name? It should be under Holly Martin. You have the double date spa package, is that right? That's correct. Great. Okay, please take a seat and we'll escort you all to your rooms in just a minute. Thank you. Holly and Weston walk over to where Matt and Johan are already sitting and sit down themselves. Isn't this exciting? Not particularly. You too? It's emasculating going to a spa. This should be fun. We should be getting some mud things and some rock things and what else do they have here? Seaweed things? Yes, that sounds right too. For girls, it sounds like you know a whole lot about what happens at spas. Excuse me, we've never been to a spa before. We hear things about them, but we haven't experienced them, so our knowledge may be slightly slim. At least tell me that you researched this place. Yes, of course we researched this place. The pictures on the website made it look like fun. Because pictures always tell the truth. And they're also worth a thousand words. Uh-huh. Great. You'll have to excuse me. I'm going to the restroom. Matt, would you hold my purse? No. Holly hands it to him anyway. 
Thank you. Holly walks off. It's also emasculating holding a purse. Especially when it doesn't even match your jacket. Matt and Johan give Weston a look. Not helping? No. Sorry. Scene four, interior, guest room, day. Holly comes walking out of the guest room restroom in her robe. She models for Matt, who is sitting on the bed. What do you think? It looks great. Fancy looking robes look nice on you. Why, thank you. You're very kind. So, are you sure that you don't want to join Weston and me for that mud bath? I think I'm good. Thanks, so. I'll just sit around in here and play some Pokemon Go. I think this spa might be a Pokestop. It isn't. I already checked. Damn. Okay. I guess I'll be playing Hearthstone instead, then. You sure you don't want to come? I'm sure. Thanks for the offer, though. Okay. See you soon. I'll be back in about an hour. Okay. Have fun. Holly leaves and goes across the hall and knocks on a door to another guest room. Weston answers. Hey, nice robe. Same to you. <laughs> I take it you're ready to go? Yep. Okay, let's head on out. I'm leaving, Johan. I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Weston walks out into the hallway and closes the door and begins walking with Holly to the mud bathroom. Scene 5. Interior. Guest room. Day. Matt is on his phone playing Hearthstone when there is a knock at the door. Matt gets up from the bed and answers it. Johan walks in. Hey, Matt. Yes? May I come in? It seems you already have. Okay. Matt closes the door. So what do you need? I just started getting bored, that's all. I thought I would come in here and talk to you. Well, I'm fine, thanks, so I'll see you later. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you? I take it that Weston still doesn't know or you wouldn't be here. No, she doesn't know. And this matter doesn't concern you anyway. Yes, it does. Weston is my friend. She deserves to know. The more you put off telling her, the worse it will be for everyone. Why don't you tell her then? Because you should be the one to man up and do it. I mean, God. Weston cares about you. She loves you. And you would do this? Where did you get the notion that it would be okay? I don't know. I don't even remember how this came to happen, but it did. Ashton was my ex, and she wanted to get back together, and then Weston asked me to the promised friends, and then she started showing interest, and then Ashton and I started dating. I was going back and forth between two girls at two schools, and it turned into a big fiasco that I didn't know how to resolve. I still don't know how to resolve it well. You won't be able to resolve it well. You'll hurt both of them by doing this, but at least you'll have been honest about it. I... this is bad. Yeah, but remember, if you don't tell them, then they could find out some other way, and that will be a whole lot worse. Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. Good luck finding the best way to tell them. Johan opens the door and walks out, closing it behind him. Matt turns on the TV. Nevertheless, we are still trying everything possible to create new ideas on finding and bringing Jack Hawthorne back to our time. I assure you, even though months have passed, our team is still set on making sure that Jack Hawthorne is returned to us safely. Thank you. Scene 6, Interior, Mud Bathroom day. Holly and Weston are sitting in two separate mud baths situated next to each other. They are lounged back with a towel supporting their heads and cucumbers on their eyes. This is nice. Completely. I'm glad we could have some girl time together. It seems like we always hang out around Matt or Johan or both. Yeah, this is a nice change of pace. But speaking of, how are you and Matt? We're good. How about you and Johan? We're okay. He seems a bit distant lately, but that may be just because our relationship grew a bit repetitive. I don't know, but still, he has been really sweet. Sorry to hear that it is a bit stagnant, but I'm sure things will get better. You and him seem like a good couple. They could be the ones, you know. Matt and Johan. I don't know. I mean, maybe. We're still in high school. We have a long time to worry about this stuff if we so choose. But you and Matt are so going to get married, though. Your relationship has been in the works since forever. It's like you've been waiting for this relationship since since birth. You're so good together. Matt has to be your soulmate. He could be your one. Holly smiles. I guess he could be, huh? Scene 7. Interior. Spa lobby. Day. The whole group is walking from the hallway back to the lobby of the spa. So did everyone enjoy the weekend? I guess it turned out okay. The massage was not bad. I especially love the pickles they kept putting on my eyes. Those were delicious. Those were cucumbers. Same thing, really. Right. Well, see, Matt, getting pampered isn't too bad now, is it? I guess not. Well, back to the real world with stupid AP classes. And unfriendly people. Yep. 
Well, this was nice. It isn't very often we all are able to get together anymore, especially due to our busy schedules. But let's hope the past doesn't repeat itself in the future and we can all hang out more often. Here, here. Matt opens the door and the girls walk out, followed by Johan, who has a solemn look on his face. Matt walks outside too and closes the door behind him.